Hey everybody, huge news here. The trade we've all been waiting for has been made and I guess it's not that big of a, a surprise given what we heard last night and how close it was to happening. Pierre-Luc Dubois has been traded to the Winnipeg Jets along with a 2022 third round pick in exchange for Patrick Laine and forward Jack Roslovic. So this is obviously a blockbuster deal right now in the NHL with Line and Roslovic going to Columbus and Dubois and a third going to the Winnipeg Jets. And man, I, it's hard to wrap my head around this. This has the potential to be one of those trades that works out for both teams. But at the same time, I feel like Winnipeg gave up quite a bit here. So it, it, it's it, we're never going to know right out of the gate who ends up winning winning this trade. There's no way to know until we see these guys play with their new teams and how they turn out long term with these new teams if they do stay there. But there's a lot of different ways that this can go. So first thing I want to talk about here is I want to break this down almost like swaps. So they swapped Dubois for Line a, and they swapped a third round pick for, for Roslovic. So Jack Roslovic's an interesting guy because he was supposed to be a top six forward with a really with, with a you know a lot of potential and a really good chance of being a second line center. And it just never really happened for Roslovic in Winnipeg. He's kind of been stuck on the third line and in the bottom six, and he's never really elevated his game to where it was supposed to be. So if I'm if I'm Columbus, I'm looking at a guy in Roslovic who did not work out with the Winnipeg Jets, but still has that potential. And maybe in, with a change of scenery and a new system to play under, he might work out better in Columbus than he did in Winnipeg. And I am 100% willing to give up a third round pick for a guy like that because third round picks oftentimes don't even make the NHL. So I think uh, Columbus got the got the better of the deal there in getting Roslovic th for a third round pick. That is well worth it for the Columbus Blue Jackets to see if the change of scenery can really help him. And I also think Roslovic might play better under a uh, Columbus type system rather than how he did in a Winnipeg type system. Then we get to the top two, Dubois for Line. obviously the, the centerpieces of this deal that makes this such a blockbuster. Patrick Line's played well. Um, he's played well for Winnipeg. He gets way more... Um, he get he gets way more flack from fans and from the you know, on Twitter and just in general than I think he's deserved. No, he hasn't had another 40 goal season since his first one, but he's really rounded out the rest of his game. He plays much better defensively now. Um he's he's big, he can play physical. He's added a lot more assisting, you know, passing to his game and he's a much better assist man now than he was when he first came into the league and I think Liney's taken a lot of undeserved flack to this point in his NHL career. He is still a really really good winger. And for Columbus, this is huge because they really don't have that high-end scoring winger. I mean, when you look at the wings in Columbus, you're looking at guys like Cam Atkinson is being your top winger. Um, listen, I love Cam Atkinson, but he's a second line guy, in my opinion, not a first. So for them to be able to bring in a guy like Patrick Line, that is massive for the Columbus Blue Jackets. And then you have Dubois going to uh, Winnipeg. I mean, I think Dubois has the potential to be a really good number one center in this league and a really good two way player. Um, so I think the potential is there for that to be a really good pickup for the Winnipeg Jets. Um, but overall, I feel like Columbus has gotten the better of this trade, which uh, a great job by by their uh, general manager. Um, Col Columbus is just, I mean, looking at this, I'm, I'm surprised they got this much for Dubois, especially with the issues surrounding Pierre-Luc Dubois where he kind of mailed it in this season and made it very obvious he didn't want to be there and then, you know, hasn't really played with a lot of effort and that's kind of has people questioning his character and he wanted out, there's no doubt about that. Um, he was not not good in the last game, you know, obviously he got benched and everything. Um, I just, I don't know, I feel like this is pretty risky for Winnipeg. For this to work out long-term for Winnipeg, 
Um, they need Pierre-Luc Dubois to become a high-end number one center. If not, I mean, Roslovic isn't a huge loss because he hasn't played great for the Jets, but I think Roslovic could be better with Columbus than he was with the Jets. And, I mean, Line, I think, is still going to be a great player throughout his entire NHL career. So they need Dubois to live up to Patrick Line, pretty much, is what needs to happen. They need Dubois to live up to Line, to Line. And um, that's a risk there. Again, there's no way of knowing right now how that's going to work out. Um, That's something that we're not going to know for years to come until we see how these guys progress over the course of their careers. But I feel like right now, it seems like Columbus has gotten at least the potential to get more out of this deal than what Winnipeg did. Um, But obviously, Winnipeg is really, really high on Pierre-Luc Dubois. And again, he has the potential. He's a really good player. I just hope, you know, and again, both of these guys are, you know, Dubois just signed a two-year bridge deal. Line, I believe, is in the last year of his bridge deal. Both of these guys are going to be re-signed, need to be re-signed soon. Imagine if neither of them end up re-signing with the teams that, you know, just made this trade and they only have these guys for one or two years. That would be absolutely insane. Now, I believe they're both still restricted free agents when their deals are up, so it's not like they can just leave in unrestricted free agency, but I don't know. This is a crazy trade. Uh, I feel like Columbus got a lot more for Dubois than I thought they were going to, and again, that third round pick I don't think really means a whole lot. Um, it's well worth the risk for the Blue Jackets to take on Roslovic for that third, and I think Line right now is a better player overall than Dubois so Columbus got the two better players here and Winnipeg is really banking on Dubois turning into that elite number one center Um, he was the number one guy in Columbus but on most teams Dubois is not the number one center and he won't be in Winnipeg Shifley is clearly the number one guy there so um, he's going to be a number two center in Winnipeg and that will knock Stastny down to a third line role most likely Um, It really helps the center depth, though, with the Winnipeg Jets, because that's an area they've been a little weak in, um, particularly depth-wise. You know, they have really good top centers, but their depth hasn't been great. Um, Now they've got much better center depth with Dubois coming in. So I, I understand the trade. I think it could work out to where both teams really end up getting what they want out of this deal and it being one of those trades that works out for everybody but at the same time I feel like if anyone is going to win this trade and like clearly one-sided win this trade it's going to be the Columbus Blue Jackets and I think they did a phenomenal job in getting a very nice return for Pierre-Luc Dubois and We'll see how Line does under John Tortorella and in that Columbus system. But if Line works out and Roslovic plays better, Columbus got a lot for Pierre-Luc Dubois. So that's just kind of my initial thoughts on the trade. Um, Maybe talk about it a little bit more um, down the road as I have some more time to just kind of go over everything and think about it all and let it resonate for a little bit. But those are my initial thoughts. And um, obviously a huge, huge blockbuster in the NHL today with Dubois and a third going to Winnipeg and Line and Roslovic going to Columbus. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store and donation link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.